Hello! So today I'm going to be building my new computer. Um, it's been about five years since I built my current computer, which has been serving me really well. And you can check out the video I did on my computer um, up in the card. But with all the new product launches, there's a lot of performance gains to be had. And three and a half gigabytes of video memory isn't exactly cutting it anymore. Um, this time around, I don't have to worry about shipping my computer to and from college, which means I don't have to worry about my case getting drop kicked. Um, so I decided to spec out my computer to look nice as well. Without further ado, let's go through the parts I selected for this build. Um, starting off with the case, I selected the P600S from Fantex in Glacier White, which is a nice mid-tower case with a tempered glass side panel and sound dampening material. And for the CPU, I got a Ryzen 7 5800X, mainly because it's the only one I could actually buy, but it features 8 cores and 16 threads, which is twice the amount of my 6700K, in addition to having much better IPC. Overall, it should provide a much better improvement in both single core and multi core workloads. And I'm pairing the CPU with this ASUS Strix B550 motherboard, which features a good power delivery system and nice connectivity, including two M.2 slots with integrated heat sinks, a front panel USB C Gen 2 connector, handful of SATA ports, Wi Fi 6, and of course RGB. For cooling the processor, I went with this EK 280mm AIO, which should provide good cooling performance for the 5800X, in addition to looking good too with its RGB. Initially, I was going to go for the 240mm variant, but when I saw EK recently released a 280mm version, I decided to get that instead. For the memory, I went with two sticks of 16GB, each running at 3600MHz CL16 from G-Skill. It has a nice two-tone black and silver color scheme with RGB on the top. Although my previous computer also had 32GB of RAM total, it was in a four-stick configuration and running at a slower clock speed. So this new configuration would give me the option to upgrade to 64GB of RAM in the future. For the graphics card, I got the RTX 3070 by Gigabyte. It's not much new to say about these 30 series graphics cards, but this one has a nice three fan cooler design. And big thanks to my good friend for helping me get this. If you're watching this, really appreciate it. For storage, I'll mostly be using the drives I have in my existing computer, including the Samsung 970 Pro, uh, which will continue to be my working drive for editing. In addition, for the boot drive, I got a SK Hynix Gold P31 SSD, and although it's not PCIe 4.0, I read that it has great random read and write speeds, which should be good for storing the operating system and other applications. And although it has an ugly green PCB, it'll be hidden under the motherboard M.2 cover. For the rest of the storage, I'll put in my other SATA drives as well. In powering the system, I'm using the same EVGA 650 watt modular power supply, which should provide enough power for the 5800X and 3070. This time around though, I picked up some sleeve extensions in black and white, which should match the case and the other components in the build. Right, now that I've walked through the complete parts list, finally build this computer and let the cinematics begin. Mm -hmm. 